Hello everyone, this is Anton and in today's video I want to get into a plugin, another calendar plugin that I think is really, really, really um, awesome here. So I went over uh, previously a community plugin called Big Calendar and I found a new one that's pretty much taking the same approach but it's much more improved uh, from my opinion. So and I want to show that to you. So it's called Full Calendar so if we go into our plugins um, and you do your search you want to look for full calendar and here we're in the settings I've already installed it enabled it and here's what you get to do I'm gonna blur out of course some of the links that I have here but within here you can one set up a a folder directory where you put in notes with a particular formatting and certain metadata in it and those will be considered as events for this calendar and then you can come in here you can set in the the uh, day of the week that you want to start your weeks off with um, I typically do Mondays on my calendars and then from there you can add new calendars and the key here is that you can add calendars in here that are not just taking from your your local vault but that are also coming from remote links that you may have published calendar links um, to so in here you have a couple of different options so you can do a remote um, uh, link in here using the ICS format file uh, you can use CalDev, iCloud and then here we have the local so if you look at go in here and we show how you do this so for the local one you can pick a color that you want to have for the events that are going to be used for this particular directory and then you can choose the directory or where you want to have your your events uh, stored at now if we want to do one where we're using say you know a remote link like I have a couple in here already you pretty much come in here you set the color again and you put in the URL that you would like to have so these different URLs you can pull from the your Google or again um, any public link that has that dot ICS extension on it that allows you to basically kind of pull pull your calendars into another calendar so these publicly available ones um, so we'll go ahead and hit X on that. We can see here from the, I'll only show the beginning portions of these here, but I have a, an 0365 calendar that I use. And then I also have a Google calendar that I have that I'm also sharing within here. So from within Obsidian, I can come here. I can open up the full calendar and I can see the local events that I've created and then you can see here I pulled in these calendar events from my external calendars now this is good in a sense to where you can see all of your events the only downside here is that you cannot do anything with the events that are in here so if you have an event there you see I clicked on it and it tells you can't really do anything here you can't edit those um, you can only add, say, and edit the ones that are local to your vault. You can see I clicked on this one here. You have new event one. You can come in here and change all of these different details. We can open the note from here as well. And you can see the formatting that needs to be in this file for it to be seen. And I have all of these underneath the notes events area. So any event that I put in here using this particular adding this metadata in there uh, will be seen and be put in that calendar so if we go back here now initially it does take a little bit of time to update that will be something you'll see as you go back and forth um, from one note back to the calendar if you're doing any of that it does have to refresh itself um, for, with the the links that are you know external to your vault um, but if you come in here you can see the different views 
of all of the different events, the week view, the day view, the month view, and then a list view. So they're all formatted really nicely. I do like this here. So if I want to do something uh, to these again, you cannot edit them. Um, I wish it would at least allow you to select these events and then create a note out of it. Um, maybe you have meeting notes from, uh, from this particular event. But right now, you just get the error message that you cannot edit these particular events. So um, they're similar to the big calendar that I showed before with the added addition of being able to add external calendar events to this calendar. So I think that's really nice. Um, so if we come in here, here I'm underneath the events. I have another um, event that I created here just a test event that's sitting in here and again if I just go back into the calendar we see those two we can click on those I can drag and drop change the times on those you can move these around so that's pretty simple your file gets updated and everything so really nice plugin straight to the point here you know it's simple enough to where it just shows you all of your calendar events and you can also add any events that you want to from your vault perspective and not have to constantly go outside of obsidian unless of course you want to um, actually make a calendar event within your external calendar so that's pretty much it. Um, if you like the video, you found value from it, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.